power over Ethernet, what is it, should you do it, what are the benefits of it, and how do you do it? So, pretty simple. What you're going to need is you're going to need an injector, okay? I've got the links down below. This is super simple. And then you have the uh, splitter. The splitter is going to be also the other half of what you need to do. I see people asking questions about this all the time, so I'm making this quick video on this. And then you're going to need just some simple Ethernet. Your length is uh, your choice, of course. I like to use this flat Ethernet cable. It's super flexible, literally and theoretically, on, on what I can do, how my installs vary. Uh, because for you, I understand that every situation uh, of your install is going to be different. Some of you have to go through windows. Some of you have to make openings. And so just this little setup here will save you tons of time and increase your earnings by not having an interrupted or interruptible source of internet. With Wi-Fi, you're only limited to certain areas, certain distance uh, of where you can put your hotspot. This allows for uninterruptible source of internet, which is one of the key benefits of having power or ethernet. And you can make it a super sick, super clean uh, install uh, by not having tons of power cables and ethernet cables running into your hotspot wherever you are. So if you're putting it on a rooftop, you just need one cable running up to your hotspot and then it gets split back up into the ethernet which plugs into your hotspot and then the power which plugs in right into your hotspot so let's take a look at this and just understand how this works so this is the wi-fi setup so you have your modem then you're going to have uh, the wi-fi going through thin air of course received by your hotspot your hotspot has to be plugged in right next to the power source maybe you have an extension cable or maybe you just plug in straight into the outlet after that you can do an ethernet connection. It's the same thing except you're not using the Wi-Fi, you're just plugging straight in from your router or your modem and you're connecting to the ethernet port in the back of your hotspot of choice. You still have to be connected uh, via an extension cable or just straight next to the power outlet. Moving on from there, then you can do the upgraded version which is my favorite, power over ethernet. You get rid of the power source here because the power is actually coming from here, okay? So what happens is you have the injector as we mentioned, you have the splitter, and then you have power and ethernet going through this ethernet cable. So you plug in the uh, injector next to the wall, you have the router, and you have an input into this little hole, and then the output cable, which is this bar right here, the output cable carries your power and the ethernet cable into the splitter, and then it splits it back up so that you can use the power plug, and then you have the ethernet plug, and these both connect into the back of your hotspot. So have you noticed, as you notice, we have gotten rid of the power source here and we've gotten rid of basically just having uh, to use two cables and to have two routes of cable and now you just have one route, one source for both. This is what this looks like here. You have the modem, you connect it to the input of the injector and then you have the power coming back out into your hotspot. So this is going to be ethernet cable carrying your power and the ethernet. So all in all, it's a really good solution. I love it. It's probably one of my best ways to do it. All of my hotspots are going to be on power over ethernet. I already have most of them on power over ethernet and it's just a lot better and it makes every installation so much easier. But again, sometimes you don't need to do, to do this. You can probably get away with being on Wi-Fi. I personally hate being on Wi-Fi. And if you have any miner of this or any kind of crypto miner, you should be running uh, ethernet at least, right? So I have a cat six cable running and if I have links in the descriptions down below, but uh, if you don't know anything about categories on the, the cables, you don't need anything higher than a cat six or a cat seven. That's just too much. Uh, but if you have a cat five or a cat six, that should be plenty to be running on uh, these ethernet cables. Now that is super cheap. Uh, like a 50 feet is like 12 bucks on Walmart for ethernet cable. And so again, like I said, I have links down below. They're just the same price as Walmart, but they're flat. I couldn't find any flat ones at Walmart. These are the ones that uh, worked out the best for me. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Gabriel. Hit the like and subscribe for me. I appreciate it. Drop a comment down below of what you think about this and what your experiences are. And if you do this upgrade and you saw my video, let me know what your results are now. Tell me how, the differ uh, how different it is, and I'd like to hear that. I'll reply back to you. Talk to you soon, guys. Later.